The American Chamber of Commerce in Sri Lanka has urged the government of Sri Lanka to consider approving the Millennium Challenge Corporation or the MCC Compact. Prime Minister Rani Vikramasinghe arrived at the Maldivian Parliament on an invitation extended by Speaker and former President of the Maldives, Mohammed Nasheed. In both our countries, executive power is vested in the President. But in Sri Lanka, it is a cabinet of ministers which includes the president that is in charge of the direction and control of parliament. The cabinet of ministers is also collectively responsible to the parliament. The president is tasked with appointing as prime minister the person who is likely to command the most support in parliament. This position was upheld by the Court of Appeal in 2018 when it issued an interim order restraining Mahindra Rajapaksa, the former president, from functioning as prime minister, despite being appointed by president since 122 of the 225 members of parliament were opposed to him. The 19th Amendment further strengthened parliament by restricting the president's power to dissolve parliament. In October 2018, the President purported to dissolve Parliament without such a resolution. But the Supreme Court held that the dissolution of the Parliament was unconstitutional. Prior to the 19th Amendment, the President had near total immunity from suit. This was restricted by the 19th Amendment, which provided for official acts of the President to be reviewable by the Supreme Court under the fundamental rights jurisdiction, the dissolution of parliament in 2018 was declared unconstitutional under this provision. Speaking in parliament, Speaker Mohammed Nasheed has said democracy in Sri Lanka is stable and that power in Sri Lanka can only be obtained through democratic ways and people's votes.